hey guys what's up so in this program we are going to see one more pattern program right so how we need how we can write a logic to print the pattern in the reverse directions right i will show you before starting with that uh, you guys can subscribe my uh, youtube channel so that you will have n number of playlists available there and you guys can go through my facebook page ask me the questions on my facebook page and the github locations where you guys can can get the source code right and for any query you can mail me to this right so now let me start with the program so what program we have we have program like this right so we have no sorry we have program like this right so what we want is let me remove this logic what we want is we want output like this we want output 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 then we want 6, then 5, then 4, then 3, then 2, and then 1. Right. So it's like in the interview, they will give you an input data. Based on the input data, it should print a program. So when interviewer will give you 9, it should print 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, then 8, then 7, then 6, then 5, then 4, 3, 2, 1. So how do we achieve that? So what we will do here is we will make object of a scanner class right so we will make the object of scanner class and here we will write system dot in so when we make the object of a scanner class we can reach the data from the keyword and here we'll write scanner so this guy will read the data from the keyword and let's make a local variable so we have made a object of the scanner class and when we say system.in basically it will read the data from your keyword now we will write here a scanner dot a scanner dot what we write is we write here we will go for let's say an extent right we will go for next int this will read integer data and we will make a data here is let's say we will make one variable called number so we made a variable called number again place mouse over here create a local variable so this will read the data from the scanner class write a print statement and write here enter input data okay now what will happen is it will ask you for the input data once you are done till here now go through the logic how you should write a logic for any program if you look at when i let's assume that you are keeping a variable i when we say i is equal to 7 it should print 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 when we say i is equal to 6 it should print till 1 2 3 4 5 6 and so on so how we should achieve that right it's pretty simple pretty straightforward what we can do is we can write a for loop first okay let me write a for loop first so we can write a for loop in this for loop we can start i from where that is the challenge how we should approach i right that is our challenge here so I should start from a number. I will tell you why we should start from a number. If I is equal to number and I greater than is equal to 1, then do I minus minus. Why I am writing this logic? Right? Why? Because we have to start from the higher value of the input when somebody will supply input is equal to 7 it should print 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 that is the reason we should start i from 7 now when we print i this program logic will not work because when i 7 it will print just 7 so we need to have one internal for loop when we write one more internal for loop we can direct the internal for loop how many times it should execute so we can write here int j is equal to 1 j less than is equal to i y less than is equal to i 
so when less than is equal to i means when i first time 7 this guy should execute 7 times starting from 1 2 3 4 5 6 so j less than is equal to 7 when i 6 this guy should execute 6 times right and then do here i plus plus sorry it should be j plus plus after that what we will print we will print j data because when i7 it should start printing from 1 to 4 5 6 7 your external for loop actually it is directing the internal for loop you can say that it is controlling the internal for loop why because of this condition we are controlling right so that we can decide how many times we want to print and why i started j from 1 because your output should start from 1 if it is 0, you should start from 0, right? And I did j less than is equal to 1. Why? Because why I did j less than is equal to 1, which means if j is 7, I want this loop to be run 7 times. If I keep only less than, it will not run for 7 times, it will run only for 6 times. Because j is starting from 1, it is not starting from 0. So we have to keep j less than is equal to. Similarly, here also we have to start i number minus 1. If it is 7, right, this loop should run for 7 times, right, this loop should run for 7 times, so no, should, should not do i minus 1, it should be i is equal to number, 7, then 6, then 5, then 4, then 3, 2, 1. Now, should we write here print ln? No, we should not write here print ln. Why? Because first thing, we want data to be printed like this in this sequence 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Once it will reach the i value, once these conditions will be satisfied, then only we want a new line. Without these conditions, we don't want. So once it will cross this condition, then only we want a new line. So remove the new line from here. And once these conditions will cross, it will not go inside the for loop. So we want new line here, guys. We want new line here, right? Now, if you run this, if you run this inter input data, okay, I will say 9 and then enter. So, this is your output. So, this code is working. Only the drawback, what I can see that is there is no space. You can see that if it is a 9, it is printing 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. To put a space, Put a plus here, keep a space between two numbers. Now, if we run that, we can see that. So, let's say if I say 9, enter, you can see that the nice output is coming, right? If it is a 9, it is printing 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 2. Why? Because this data you are able to get only because of your internal for loop, because you are printing j and j starts from 1, and your external for loop is acting as a driver to the internal for loop because of this condition and why here we don't have new line because we don't want new line after every number we want new line only when i conditions has been fulfilled or if this condition is failed then only we want a new line so once these conditions will fail then only this line will start so that we want new line here not inside if you put inside you will not get data like this because what will happen if you put inside after every data you will get a new line and your output will not come like that. So if you put like this, though your output is same but your pattern will not match. Do now run as this Java applications. Let's say 9. See here, you are getting the output 1, 2, 3, till 9, right? Then you are getting till 8. But your pattern is not matching because of ln. So don't put new line. Put new line here. Right. Hope I am clear and hope you guys understood how we can print program like this and how we can design a logic when we get this kind of pattern. Now, if somebody will ask you instead of this number, if somebody will ask you to put up a star, pretty simple. In double quote, write one star. Right? And just run this program. You write a star, you write dollar, you write anything, okay? No matter what you are writing, this program will work out, right? So, for a star also, this program will work. Let me come back to the original number, right? 
so thank you guys thank you for watching this hope you like hope you like this video so please subscribe my youtube channel and like my facebook page you guys can ask me the doubts on my facebook page i will try to respond to you as soon as possible thank you guys